what is a model of uh, uh, reform or a solution that we can point to to address this problem? The good news is that playbook has been written. The playbook is the revised FATF standards, 2012 with a methodology for assessing compliance in effectiveness and not just technical compliance. Um, the bad news is that it's hard to do. And so we don't have countries that I think reflect full implementation of the FATF standards. We have countries that have done really well in certain parts, countries who have done well in other parts, but we don't have a model regime yet. And the FATF standards effectively represent the model regime. But no country is in a position to say that they represent the model yet. Um, when you look at the United States, I think the U.S. is the model on enforcement, on investigation, on analysis, um, and on, uh, on preventive measure uh, compliance. Um, at the same time, um, the United States is continuing to uh, struggle to uh, address company formation. The very issues in Mossack Fonseca, where um, our company formation processes are um, run by 50 different states um, that do not comply with the FATF standards, and there have been efforts to create a federal solution in the U.S. Um, to that problem. Um, those efforts have uh, been frustrated up on uh, the Hill in Congress. They've stalled in committee legislative proposals that would address this problem. Um, the U.S. has to continue to push that. Um, other countries have other problems, right? They may have um, customer due diligence requirements that they have uh, adopted but that they're not enforcing. They may have um, investigative uh, challenges to um, opening investigations into money laundering, particularly when you're talking about sensitive elites that are politically and economically connected. Um, they may have information sharing constraints because of bank secrecy or data protection and privacy. Um, you know, these are different challenges that different countries have, um, all of which amount to um, a global picture where the playbook that we put in place um, has not been effectively implemented in full by anyone yet. So this is the work of, uh, of the next generation, of uh, the next round of assessments that we're currently in. And uh, we'll see what happens over the next, uh, the next few years. I'm hoping that this Mossack Fonseca uh, disclosure is going to launch um, some uh, renewed efforts to attack this specific issue of company formation reform and customer due diligence enforcement. Um, if, if the papers do that, then uh, we, will, we will see that um, law enforcement won't have to rely on a leak. They'll get that information because that information will be available uh, without having to do uh, whatever the hack was that led to the, to the release of the paper. So um, that's that's the world that we're aiming for. Um, those are the reforms that, that need to be adopted and, and this is not the opportunity to try to elevate this to a point of political pressure where um, uh, implementation of these standards can, can move forward.